our Peacemakers Circle today is going to be all about how we manage some difficult emotions, anger, which we looked at last week, and conflict. What is conflict? I think what causes conflict could be uh, when two different people have a different opinion on a certain topic. Can you give me an example of that? Uh, maybe what just what to have for dinner or what game to play. Thank you. People have an argument and it can escalate and then it can turn into a really big problem. What causes conflict is sometimes when you're walking home, there are some teenagers from a high school and they just start to bully you. Curriculum pressures are really high. It is a really busy curriculum, but you have to decide what you want. And our school is led by a really strong set of values. And those values are all about developing our young people and investing in the people in our school environment, both the adults and the children. And peace is essential. So a happy, safe environment is the foundation and the bedrock of our curriculum. It means that every child can come to school every day and enjoy the learning that takes place. So we have to find space for it. Some of the ways in which we approach peace education is through circle time, through peer mediation and through the wide variety of sports that we offer so children can get along, play together and enjoy their curriculum. We've been making our films for International Peace Day and everything you do at your school for peacemaking. What is the actual narration for this bit of the video going to say? Um, it's going to say, we make peace with circle time. How often do you do circle time? Uh, usually once a week. Yeah, we did one today actually. So move around a little bit. That's fine, we'll fit you in. Move around a tiny bit, Logan. And I think this is an important word, isn't it? Accepting that, that we might be in the wrong or accepting that we've hurt somebody's feelings. We're seeing fewer and um, uh, fewer and fewer arguments happening in our school now we're doing peacemakers. We've learnt a lot about how to handle conflict because we've had um, lots of circle times. Who remembers what happens on the magic carpet check-in? It's called an affirmation. Uh, Zach, what do we have to do? It, you pick three people to say um, good things about you. If anyone is sad, you always make them happy. Everything that ploughs into education can seem like waves. So it's a wave of a new initiative, it's a wave of a new thing. So as a school, you decide what you're going to hold on to. You are so kind to people. When they are down, you make them happy again. You are a really kind friend. Isn't that a lovely place to end today? Congratulations, Bailey. There we are. So what's the most important things for you? And peace education has a longevity, it has an impact. So we've decided to hold on to that with our, with our core school values. I, th I think you've done a great job there. And you've all recorded some audio for that, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. And the circle in the background, that's for circle time, is it? Yeah. And then you're going to show the class what you have acted out and then we can answer those questions. What does conflict look like? What does it sound like? And what does it feel like? Oh, very good, this group started. What word can we use instead of argument? Conflict. I've started um, doing these circle times with peacemakers about six, seven years ago now in a previous school. And initially I was really sceptical of it and I thought, no, this is not going to work with, you know, seven and eight year olds talking about peace. But actually just within the space of a few weeks, just doing regular circle times, regular peacemaker sessions really did make a difference to those children. They were able to discuss what their conflict was, what their arguments were, and they had some strategies in order to be able to solve those. <coughs> Why did you kick the football over the fence? Just get it back. I've got another ball. We're not getting a new one. one. We've got like five. No, we don't. So go and get that one back. Great. What words did we hear? Freddie? Get. get. <gasps> Was it a command? Yeah. 
Charlie Ray, was they, were they commanding that person yeah. to do it? We did, we heard the word get. Shall I write it in capital letters? Yeah. They will be our citizens for the future and they will need to know how to manage conflicts, how to work together, how to be resilient, how to support and listen, and actually teaching them from an early age, I think really does do that. If all children had the opportunity to learn peace building skills, to have opportunity to take part in a curriculum that was led by peace and supported by peace, then we would have a more peaceful society. Uh, we wouldn't have necessarily less conflict, but we would have better ways of managing that conflict. Have a nice evening. Thank you, take care. Bye, Lane. Bye, Lena. You've done great work today. Look at everything that you've made. I liked the peace equals kind uh, message. Who, who, was that you as well? That, yeah, that's beautiful. And that was quite a complicated animation, really, wasn't it? Peace is important to avoid war and poverty. Peace provides a safe environment. We make peace at our school with circle time. We try to resolve problems calmly for ourselves. And we have fear mediators. Thank you.